It's a beautiful morning. It is. It's a gorgeous morning today, guys. Look at the mountain. <sighs> Starting to change some colors. Oh yeah. It's gonna change a lot here in the next couple of weeks. So it's another beautiful day out here on the 41.36. Mm -hmm. um, Gary and I had a nice, refreshing, relaxing weekend out here. Yes. Man, you still got a lot done. I did. <laughs> I did. I mean, it is clean out here. Yeah. Like, no, tomorrow, uh, I had a mess out here. It was a disaster on this patio. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not anymore. Nope. We've got the patio all cleaned up now, and Gary has definitely been putting in some hard work, finishing moving us from uh, camp life over here to the basement. Still not done, but man, we are moved in quite a bit more than we were. Yes, I'd say it's about 85% yeah. moved in and yeah. everything, so... It's pretty good. It's livable. Definitely livable. <laughs> so Gary and I wanted to walk around and show you guys what we've been up to this weekend since we did a lot of relaxing, not a lot of recording, get you guys all caught up to speed. And then there are a few things that we want to tackle today. So mm -hmm. we ready? Yeah. Let's do it. it. So we got the patio all nice and cleaned up. Got the grill over here and whatnot. So we ended up having some ribs the other day. So I had to get this guy over. And I ran out of propane in my small little propane tank, so I had to steal the uh, extra trailer one and hook that guy up, but hey, it worked. Patio's looking super nice, all cleared off. Mm -hmm. Gary went ahead and hung up our, uh, our fly screen. Yes. No more flies for us. Keep the flies out. Yeah. I'm tired of the flies. <laughs> we got that up as well as I also moved the Starlink. It is all in position. It is still on that pallet, which I'm gonna strap that guy down. But it's heavy enough, it shouldn't blow anywhere. And this satellite's super light, so. Yeah. And it's working so good right there because oh, there's like no obstructions in that particular area. So it it's working so much better. It is perfect. I'm, I'm amazed on how well it's working right there. Because I mean, we have those trees right there too. But there, there's no obstructions. We've got really good service, and it's nice. Heck yeah. It's, it's working the way that it's supposed to. But let's take you inside and show you what it looks like inside and our living arrangement. Because I think it's working out really well. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Relax, flower. So Gary's been a super busy beaver this weekend. Although yes. he's been relaxing and resting, he's still been getting after a lot of these little these little things on the list that we need to get after, such as the door. No. Yeah, there's no more crack in the door. Mm-hmm. It's all there. It's yeah. fixed. I had to shimmy these uh, hinges to get it to where it's gonna be and everything, and yeah, that was fun. <laughs> No more air gap. <laughs> no more air gap. It's all good. He also moved over our stand-up freezer and our refrigerator, and mm -hmm. we set up our kitchen area just a little bit more. Check it out. It's really nice to have a stand-up uh, refrigerator in here and not have to use the cooler. The no. cooler worked out really well, but for our family size, it was a pain having to go back to camp every day. That was a yeah. that was a big pain in our butt, yeah. but it's nice. We got our refrigerator in here, yep. and then we also got the freezer, and then also down the hall we've got all our food storage and everything. You can check this out. We got our little walkway through under where the stairs are are going to be right now, but we got all the food storage right here, all the cans and all that fun stuff. 
we're gonna get another one of these and set it over there. Hey, it works for now. Yeah. Hey, it, it, fit, it, it fits perfectly. And it's enough to where you can stand here and look and grab what you need. So. Perfect. It's not a all like, oh crap, I gotta it's not squeeze. It's not too narrow. No, it's yeah. just as much as when we're going to grab our clothes, which isn't a pain at all, so. It's perfect. It's perfect. We got us a folding table for our kitchen table. Um, it's just a round folding table, nothing super fancy. I didn't really want anything in here, really heavy duty or anything like that. No. I wanted it to be a folding table so that way it's light and we can get it up and out of the way when and if we need to. Um, but also we could still have a table down here and sit around the table and have dinner as a family. So yeah. I got my table, guys. Yes, yes. Yay. <sighs> so um, got that all set up. This hasn't really changed too much in here. Still kind of just our camping furniture and stuff for now. Um, but back here, oh, look at that, guys. I got a laundry room. <laughs> She's got her nice uh, stand right here for all her pots and pans and everything else. And she's got her nice utility sink to do the dishes and everything, which mm -hmm. has been working out really, really nice. And then we've got the washer and dryer. And it works perfectly i was curious on how this drain um, like i'm not no professional or anything i just followed the book of what it says and i did it and it, it drains perfectly it, I, no issues this thing sits here perfectly the venting for this guy that was interesting because uh you know i had to go up and then over so i will be uh eventually making like a wall, a false wall right in this area. So that way, you know, you're not seeing all this ugliness right here. <laughs> but it's it's working out perfectly. I like it. And I think it will be I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. And then right here will be a, a table for her. So Yeah, so I could fold my laundry right there. Mhm. Mm so we do have the dehumidifier up on there, which gives it up and out of the way and perfect drainage for it. So so in the bathroom, we have not put it up on the wall. Hi guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we not have yet. not put it up on the wall, but we just have it kind of sitting here so we can, uh, you know, brush our teeth and get ready and stuff and have a mirror. Yep. But we still have to finish all of this drywall and everything up here. We did put our cabinet in here, but again, we haven't finished it because this side piece right here gets another board and then we're actually going to be painting it to match. And we were talking about it and what do we think? So we wanted to get it in here and sort of have eyes on what's going on with everything. And instead of putting or this over here and making some sort of shelving unit in between, we're going to get another one of these because we can put two of them right here and I can actually space it just a little bit and put the filler right here and uh yeah it would be nice yeah so i think we're gonna get so. a secondary one of these <laughs> and one of these will be just for mine and gary's stuff um and then the other one will be for the kids' stuff and linens i think yeah so we've been pretty busy over the weekend uh moving and grooving and organizing yeah. and trying to settle in and figure out like our new feng shui our new uh, routines right around mm -hmm. here and I think we've got a pretty good idea of how this stuff is going to be working out now um, there is some stuff that we have to finish off here in the basement especially here in this bathroom um, yeah. as we get more and more comfortable Gary actually wanted to start working on some of that today what are you working on today babe so I already have the drywall pieces cut out for this one right here as well as the back side of the shower tub and I want to start closing in everything in here. And I want to get the mudding going because now is, I'd rather get the mudding done now because it's going to get colder and colder and colder. And I do not want to be fighting on waiting for mud to dry. Yeah. So yeah, no, I don't want to deal with that. And this is honestly the only little bit of drywall we have is right here, that piece right there and this piece and we're done with drywall. Yeah, just this bathroom area. So the roofing area we'll uh we'll figure out the ceiling later and whatnot well we, we might know not. we're going to put insulation in the ceiling but yes. we don't, haven't figured out what we're going to do to close it all in yet but insulation no. will be coming soon but insulation is definitely coming here soon one so. step at a time we're going to work on this drywall area and closing yep. in all the air gaps correct and making it to where it's completely airtight in here 
It is time to close in this gap. I've got no leaks. I've had it exposed for a week. And there was a leak the first day down at the tub where the actual tub fitting fits the tub and everything else like that. I just had to tighten it a little bit more, but no water, no anything. So that makes me happy. Before I close it in in there, I'm gonna spray some bug spray and just make sure I get it back there as far as I possibly can. Cause I'm closing it in. Spray down in there. Spray the footer. <laughs> All right, this guy in place. Like a glove. All right. Special thanks to a subscriber that sent us over the drywall tip. So that way you can actually sink it perfectly so you can just mud it because that's going to save me some time right there. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Makes a perfect divot. So now you can go ahead and mud it and you'll never see that screw. This way, that will come out that way. All right. oh. This piece should fit. Perfectly, just like so. So I got the pieces that I already had pre-cut out in and installed. I've got to go back and cut out the rest for this area right here, as well as the tiny bit up at the top in certain spots. And that's it for drywall in the basement completely. So happy about that. But before I get onto that, I still have some other stuff I have in the actual basement already that I need to finish up installing completely, like the uh, fart fan for in the bathroom, as well as the exhaust fan for the actual laundry room. So I'm gonna go into the laundry room, get that one done because that one's a lot longer. The one in the bathroom's very tight quarters. <laughs> And I'm gonna try to bring you guys along while we're doing that as well. So let's go tackle the one in the laundry room first before we get the one in the bathroom. Let's get that done. So on these uh, elbow pieces, they actually move and you can get them to be where you want them exactly and get it to where it's like, I think it's like 270 degrees that you can go or 90 or straight or whatever. So they're pretty nice and you can do a lot with them, but it's got a little bit of a gap I don't probably need to really do this for what I'm doing, but I'd rather go a little above and beyond. No, Gary, you really? Like I normally always do. <laughs> All the uh, exhaust fan or the exhaust for the dryer, I completely take that whole pipe from top to bottom. And that's the uh, rigid expandable pipe it still had like little bit of spacing in it i was worried seeing that that could you know leak out carbon dioxide i don't really want that in the house or in the basement so i went a little crazy on that one <laughs> I, I think rightfully so Sixty-nine piece. 
which I'll do 70 just to give me a little wiggle. So what I've got here is the actual vent for the vent fans and everything, and they are insulated. It's actually got an R6 insulation value. So any air that does come in at all and any chance or whatever, it will be insulated. Any of the air coming out will also be insulated, but I'm more worried about the air coming in than I am going out. 70 inches. All right. Well, that one's in. You want to hit it? I want to feel how much air. We got it running. I don't feel no air popping out on the side. That's nice. Can't hear it. Like, it barely, you can barely even hear it. It's definitely sucking out that air. Good job. There's that. Now I just got one more, which is in the bathroom. Checking all the things off the good old to-do list. Mm-hmm. 19 inches. It makes it a little interesting in this tight spot. <laughs> I'll let you handle that and check right back in in a minute, baby. What you doing, baby? I am getting the outside completely flashed in as best as I can. So that way, you are sealed. My goal today is seal everything up. And get everything good to go. So I've got that on there. Let's go out and see what he's doing. So what I did right now, I basically I just looped a piece of zip tape all the way around the windowsill area. I'm going to now flash this flange to this area. And then when I have you come back, I'm going to have you have that liquid flash. I'm going to have you liquid flash all the corners and the crack or the sides all the way up and around as well as if any is left just hit that top side i want to seal this window and make sure it ain't going to leak on us until we can get the trim in where it needs to go we'll get it little by little little by little
What are you doing? Making dinner. What you make it? I'm making my meatloaf. Mmm, meatloaf. Abe's been begging for it, and uh, David said he was gonna come by today. He says he's got a surprise, and I have no idea what he's doing, but. So, I'm gonna make dinner for you. I'm gonna make dinner for Abe. I'm gonna make dinner for our friend. And it's gonna be a good one. Heck yeah. Getting her ready. Mm hmm. Cracking an egg right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got bacon that's going in there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds good to me. Well, I'll let you get back at it. I got to get back at it too. So. No, I'm sorry. I outside for so long and then it starts flaring up it's all right it's all right i'm better useful in here it's all right i'm gonna let her cook some dinner and i'm gonna come on out here and finish up uh, so what i am doing we uh already did the zip flash taping in between from the door to the block it's not the best way to adhere to the block. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with the liquid flash and I'm actually gonna cover this right here. So that way it's flashed from this tape to the block a little bit better and it should adhere a lot better. It's stuck to this tape or this uh, door frame like no tomorrow. And I did roll the tape. I did roll the tape. So I did the bottom and the side already on this. So I did the side where the tape was exposed as well as any grooves of the grout of the block and then same thing over here now i got to get up here and do the top and you can see like there's gaps right there and all that fun stuff so that's got to get sealed up ah i just touched it it's sticky it's nasty <laughs> it's gooey but i gotta finish up that i'm gonna clean this up put a glove on and get that done up there Alrighty, so that window is completely flashed. It is now air and water tight. It shouldn't leak whatsoever. Score one for the zip system flash and the liquid flash. I like it. Now I got one more window and a door to do. Okay, so I got the tape seam and the outer tape seam. Alrighty, I've got it all liquid flashed and flashed. Completely, all the windows completely are done. Door is completely done and sealed. Now, all I've got to do is put back the actual netting for all the flies. As you can see, the kids got home. I'm going to call it. Stick to our schedule. Relax a little bit. We might have a couple of more things before uh, this video is done. So I'll catch you here in just a sec. What's up, you guys? Well, one of our really, really good friends just showed up over here. Oh, yeah. What's going on, guys? Come on with the come on. He actually brought me a very cool present, which he's been working really, really hard on. And man, I already seen it. You guys got to go see the reaction and everything off on his channel. Um, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Yes. I love it. Look, guys. He made me a desk. Bro. Come Bro. <laughs> milled every single piece this once was a tree on his property three days ago yeah and now it's milled and uh upcycled old desk right there from the glass one that he had and i ne definitely am going to be needing a good computer chair but that's going to work for now wow dude that thing is amazing awesome. 
Thank you, thank you. It was fun. I had fun with it. It looks so good. Yeah. Heck yeah. It was nice to switch it up to go from building, you know, buildings and land clearing and all of that to do a fun project for some great people. I loved it. It was awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. It turned out really, really good, man. Really, really good. Nice finish to it. Nice and smooth. And it matches. Mm -hmm. I'm so freaking excited. Guys, I'm not going to have to do a making all these videos either in the bed or like huddled in a corner on a little laptop anymore. Like this is so, so awesome. Uh, I'm super excited to put it into use. Thank you, David. I freaking love it. You're welcome. I, I thought it would be perfect for y'all. You've been editing for almost two years in your lap. Yes. With a laptop and Gary's researched this whole deal <laughs> off his telephone. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I figured that right there was the best thing for y'all is to be able to give y'all a nice comfortable space to bring you guys some videos. Yeah. And for this man to be able to find out uh, what he needs to build without looking at a screen that big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now I get to totally uh, work on this space and decorate it and hang up my, my planners and get more organized and just keep on progressing. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to being able to utilize this space more because right now it's a little bit of a mess and then you got something beautiful. So now I'm going to definitely work on this. It's going to be great. All right, guys, well, we're going to call it a night for tonight. We're going to yep. hang out together, uh, talk about a few things. Eat Got some meatloaf. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. some biscuits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made uh, dinner tonight, so we're going to feed them. We're going to hang out, um, talk about some things. We'll be coming back to a video for you guys here in a very short time. So until then, guys, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. Go, Go to the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>